The patient will experience several um, different things. If the injection is done in the shoulder, I always tell my patients that the shoulder is very close to the ear and we have just injected 20 cc's of a fluid into a joint and it's sometimes like injecting water and air into a balloon. If you put water and air in a balloon, sometimes you'll hear a little squeaky sound and that is totally normal and I always tell my patients who have a shoulder arthrogram, they may hear that, that's normal, don't worry about it. I tell all my patients after an arthrogram, whether it's the shoulder, the knee, the wrist, the ankle, that the fluid is there, I cannot take it out, you will see some swelling, that's normal. You need to give it 48 to 72 hours for your body to completely resorb that fluid. Now, as far as anything else, I tell the patients whatever they were doing before, they should be able to do after the arthrogram. Whatever activity level they had before the arthrogram, they should be able to do after the arthrogram. The other thing I tell the patients, it's very important to follow up with their physician who referred them to our office. I also tell them that after the MRI or CT, we give them a CD that they either need to take to the doctor's office or we will deliver to the doctor's office. So that information will be there when they see their doctor in their follow-up.